Today I am going to be drawing something for Valentine's Day. I didn't want to get too caught up in the history of Valentine's Day because there is a lot of different versions and there's a lot of different stories on the history of St. Valentine. But the one that I have read, that St. Valentine was a priest and he was arranging marriages in secret. And he ended up falling in love with uh, a jailer's daughter. And uh, yeah, he was ended up, he ended up being executed on the 14th of February and he had sent a letter to her signed at the end of it from your Valentine. Going through the research and having a look at all the different versions and what uh, a lot of people um, have said, like it got confusing and yeah, I sort of really don't know uh, what the real story is behind St. Valentine because there is a lot of different versions of him. So if anyone out there uh, knows exactly what the history is, please let me know because I have just read so many different stories. <laughs> Anyway, uh, the illustration that I have today is uh, something that I wanted to, uh, you know, sort of celebrate Valentine's Day with. It is an illustration uh, about a, um, a woman who is on the right and then she's got a man on the left who is sort of missing uh, one part of his arm and uh, his hand and basically what she has done is she has constructed her own perfect man for herself so she had gone away and built this guy from the best parts of different men that she liked the qualities in and she put it into one man now she is trying to bring him to life and the way that she is doing that is by connecting her heart to his heart and trying to bring him to life with all the love that she wants to feel and then that she feels for this man and hopefully she is going to get her wish and uh yeah that's the story behind this one she is uh she's just wanting to not be alone anymore and so she was sick of being alone and she constructed her hot her own man maybe she had been hurt by the past men and this is where she decided to create her own so she could have the perfect guy for her for herself <laughs> So I, I sort of really um, wanted this creepy aspect to it. So what I ended up doing was um, I created this um, Frankenstein looking man and he's not fully uh, built yet. And the reason behind that is she's gotten as much, you know, gathered as much body parts and as much um, of different men that she could and she's built what she feels will work for the time being. So she has constructed him to bring him to life. And then what she's gonna do is, you know, in the future, she'll go and harvest an arm from somebody else and a hand from another guy that she, that she likes. Oh, this is getting dark. <laughs> and uh, she will build him up even more. But right now she just wants him to come alive and then hey maybe he can pick his own body parts you know he could pick his own arm maybe he wants some sort of like cybernetic uh, cyborg kind of arm or maybe he can pick his own arm from someone uh that they can harvest it from you know there's different uh ways of looking at it you know like i always say let your imagination run wild but I ended up doing his mouth blue and sort of giving him like a bluish green tinge to sort of say that he's not fully alive, he's getting there and he's not quite, um, yeah, he's not quite alive. And I also put some blue tinges in his heart as well to also suggest that said thing as well. And then I made her this really 
uh, you know, bright, bright sort of colourful, well she's not colourful, but bright colours to signify that she is alive and that she is, um, you know, she is going to be giving him the life to come alive and be with her. So she is very sort of alien monster-esque and he is similar but he is very uh, sort of more human but he will be sort of half um, you know monstery sort of in the future when she starts to build him like he's also got no nose in that the nose has got to come as well you know just different things that um, you know she, if, when she finds what she's looking for she will add to this man of hers and uh, yeah I I don't mind this piece the only thing I'm not a big fan of in this piece is her eyes I got her angling of her eyes a little bit wrong and it does look a little bit stupid <laughs> And that's the only thing I'm not real happy with. So yeah, her, her eyes look really, really, really weird because it's just, I've brought that one eye around to the front just way too much. And I don't know what I was thinking there, but we'll just pretend that uh, she's a little bit, you know, munted and uh, maybe this is what she looks like. So when she looks at your front on, that eye is more to the front and she just looks weird. <laughs> Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna run with that theory anyway because that makes me feel better. <laughs> I had a lot of fun uh, creating the creepy aspect to this, and uh, yeah, just designing something um, a bit weird and having like this uh, chick who's very alien robot sort of monster esque looking, and uh, yeah, she's just bringing this guy to life and she doesn't want to be alone anymore. <laughs> so uh, what are you guys got planned for our Valentine's Day? I'm not a really huge romantic person. Um, like I do, I do, uh, I, I sort of get a little bit awkward <laughs> in uh, romantic moments. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm very awkward in that respect. So I sort of don't know how to act or anything. So I've never been like really big on, on romance for that side of things on just the awkward side. So um, yeah, it, I do like sitting down and having a nice dinner and and all that sort of stuff but um, as for like the really mushy gooey sort of stuff um, yeah I do find it a little bit sickening and um, I, I, I can't even really um, watch a lot of real sort of romance romantic movies uh, it just sort of I, I don't know I, I sort of feel a bit like oh this is a little bit pathetic and uh, yeah that's just that's just me because like I said um, this I'm just awkward in that respect but um, yeah I'm, I'm more I'm just more just like normal and and just like to just have a great time sit down and have some food and uh, you know just do all that sort of stuff so yeah uh, but I'd like to hear what you guys are going to be doing are you getting spoiled are you getting um, yeah are you getting spoiled for the night are you getting you know rose petals dropped on the floor as you walk into the bedroom I don't know <laughs> I don't know what happens in those sort of romantic uh, scenarios so anyway I'm finishing this illustration off with some gold accents and um, I really enjoyed this part sort of bringing the uh, the the gold accents into it this was kind of like a, a last minute decision when I was in the sketch process um, I thought it'd be a nice touch to um, make it look very pretty so that is my final illustration there hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you have a wonderful Valentine's Day and I will see you guys in the next one bye